large language models have captured headlines and imaginations with their impressive capabilities in natural language processing however their massive size and resource requirement had limited their accessibility and applicability so enter the small language model which is a compact and efficient alternative voice to democratized ai for diverse needs so what are small language models Small language models are essentially smaller version of their LLM counterparts. They have significantly fewer parameters, typically ranging from a few million to a few billion compared to LLMs with hundreds of billions or even trillions. This difference in size translates to several advantages. First advantage is efficiency. This LLM require less computational power and memory, making them suitable for deployment on smaller devices or even edge computing scenarios, which opens up opportunities for real world applications like on device chat board and personalized mobile assistance. Second is accessibility. So with lower resource requirement, this SLMs are more accessible to a broader range of developers and organization. This democratized AI allowing smaller teams and individual researchers to explore the power of language models without significant infrastructure investment. And last but not the least is customization. We know LSLM are easier to fine tune for specific domain and task, which enables the creation of specialized models tailored to niche applications leading to higher performance and accuracy. So how do the small language models work? Like LLMs, this SLMs or the small language models are trained on massive data sets of text and code. However, several techniques are employed to achieve that smaller size and efficiency. The first technique is knowledge distillation. So this knowledge distillation involves transferring knowledge from a pre-trained LLM to a smaller model capturing its core capabilities without the full complexity. Second is pruning and quantization. Well, these techniques remove unnecessary parts of the model, reduce the precision of its weights respectively, further reducing its size and resource requirement. And third is efficient architectures. So researchers are continuously developing novel architectures specifically designed for SLMs, focusing on optimizing both performance and efficiency. Now, what are the benefits and limitations of this SLM? So SLM or the small language models offer the advantage of being trainable with relatively modest data set and the simplified architecture enhance interpretability and their compact size facilitates deployment on mobile devices. A notable benefit of SLM is their capability to process data locally making them particularly valuable for Internet of Thing edge devices and enterprises which is bound by stringent privacy and security regulations. However, deploying the small language model, it involves a trade-off. Due to their training on smaller data sets, SLM process more constrained knowledge based compared to their large language model counterparts. Additionally, their understanding of this language and context tends to be more limited, potentially resulting in less accurate and nuanced responses when compared to larger models. So we can see the size in the size it's 15 million parameters, it's requiring hundreds of billions of parameters. Second is computational requirement. So it can use mobile device only and it large LLMs require hundreds of GPUs. SLM handle simple tasks while LLMs handle complex and diverse tasks. Deployment wise, easy to deploy and can be trained in a week while LLMs can uh, be deployed in a month and requires a substantial uh, infrastructure. Next, what are the examples of the small language models? First is distilled bird. So distilled bird represents a more compact, agile and lightweight iteration of bird, which is a pioneering model in NLP. Next is Orca 2, which is developed by Microsoft. It's a result of fine tuning Meta's Lalama 2 using high quality synthetic data. This innovative approach enables Microsoft to achieve performance levels that either rival or surpass those of large language models, especially in zero-shot reasoning tasks. Next is Phi 2. 
The Microsoft Pi 2 is a transformer based small language model engineered for efficiency and adaptability in both cloud and edge developments. According to Microsoft, Pi 2 exhibits state of the art performance in domains such as mathematical reasoning, common sense, language understanding and logical reasoning. Next is BERT Mini Small Medium and Tiny. So Google's BERT model is available in scaled out versions ranging from Mini with 4.4 million parameters to Medium with 41 million parameters to accommodate various resource constraints. Next is GPT New and GPT J. So these are scaled down iterations of OpenAI's GPT models offering versatility in application scenarios with more limited resources. Next is Mobile BERT. So, which is tailored for mobile devices, it's specifically designed to optimize this performance within the constraints of mobile computing. Next is T5 Small. So, at part of uh, Google's text to text transformer, this T5 model series strikes a balance between performance and resource utilization, aiming to provide efficient text processing capabilities. So, what shall be the future of this? Uh, uh, small language models. So as uh, research and development progress, we can expect this SLMs to become even more powerful and versatile. So with improvements in training techniques, hardware environments and efficient architectures, this gap between the SLMs and LLMs will continue to narrow, which will open doors to new and exciting applications, further democratizing AI and its application to impact our lives. So in conclusion, we can say that small language models represents a significant shift in the landscape of AI and their efficiency, accessibility and customization capabilities make them a valuable tool for developers and researchers across various domains. Thank you.